Don't you sometimes just sit there and watch the Pokemon anime and say, wow, Ash is a moron. This has been numerous times while I was watching the Pokemon anime and I've either said or contemplated about this quote. The Pokemon anime has been going on for more than 18 years and in my opinion, Ash has hardly accomplished anything besides earning a bunch of badges. In this top 10, I'll be talking about why has Ash failed to accomplish as a Pokemon trainer, or in other words, why Ash sucks. This top 10 is completely opinionated, so if you enjoy the Pokemon anime and love Ash Ketchum, I recommend you stop watching this video right now. I will be making jokes about the Pokemon anime and Ash as well, so be aware of that. Alright boys and girls, since we have all of that settled, let's jump into the top 10. Number 10. Ash had many female companions following him on his journey such as Misty, May, Dawn, Iris, and even Serena. Matter of fact, almost every season Ash gets a new female partner on his side, yet he doesn't try to fuck not one of them? I mean, come on Ash, how can you not want to give your pokey dick to these fine looking females? Serena is literally throwing her pussy at you, now I'm not talking about meow stick if you know what I mean. Now, the most obvious answer is, this nigga's gay. But, I mean, just look at the way he looks at Brock. And if I remember, there was one episode he dressed up as a girl, but no, that can't be right. Because Ash hasn't been seen trying to get in a relationship with a guy. Maybe Ash is into bestiality? I mean, his best friend is a Pikachu, maybe it has some fun time off screen? Maybe they are friends with benefits? But no, that can't be right either. Now, nobody really knows what kind of relationship Ash should be in. It's a mystery that no one will probably figure out. Now, in all seriousness, Ash has never been seen falling in love with any character. This is simply because he's 10 years old and he doesn't really have the time for relationships because he's focusing on becoming the Pokemon Master. So it most likely will never happen. This is why Ash not being interested in love deserves number 10. Number 9. If you haven't noticed, Ash relies on a few Pokemon on his team. If it isn't Pikachu who's gonna win the battle, it's gonna be Charizard. If Charizard doesn't win the battle, it's gonna be Pikachu. This makes all the battles Ash have way too predictable and boring to look out for some people. Let's take Ash vs Gary for example. Pikachu was sitting in the crowd. Ash had Charizard on his team. Guess who will win the battle for Ash? Wow, what a shocker, it's Charizard. Is that not enough for you? Let's get another example. Ash vs Paul, final battle. Pikachu faints. Oh look, Ash is finding Pokemon's Infernape. Oh looky there, Infernape won! That's why I always look at Infernape as the Charizard of the Sinnoh League. Now, the only reason I think Ash relies on these essential Pokemon is because they are fan favorites. But I don't know, we won't see Corfish being the MVP at the Pokemon League. But like I said, it most likely won't happen because it's not fan favorites. Poor Corfish. This is why Ash relying only on a few Pokemon on his team in most of its battles is number 9. Number 8. Ash never grows up. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it's been 18 years since the Pokemon anime has been going on and he's surprisingly still 10 years old. The problem with this is that he will probably never have personality development so his mindset will always be the same. Do you know how much of a better trainer Ash would be if he never had the mindset of a 10 year old? Ash would probably be on top of the world right now. But sadly, the only reason to keep him at this age is to relate to the target audience of the show. So he probably has a low chance of ever growing up in the anime or just plain never will. This is why Ash never growing up deserves number 8. Number 7. In the X and Y anime, Ash hasn't been seen using any Mega Evolution so far. He has many Pokemon that are able to Mega Evolve such as his Charizard, Heracross, Sceptile, and Glalie. Do you know how cool it would be for Ash to Mega Evolve these Pokemon to become a much stronger trainer? I mean, just look how strong his Charizard is already. He has beaten many legendary Pokemon such as Articuno, Entei, etc. Even Ash's Sceptile has beaten a Darkrai during the Sinnoh League. He has a strong bond with both of these Pokemon so I think he'll be a much better trainer if he has Mega Evolutions. But sadly, he doesn't at the moment. Hopefully, we will be able to see Ash being able to use Mega Evolutions in the future, but as of right now, this is why Ash not having Mega Evolutions is number 7. Number 6. 
In the anime during the first season of Kanto, Ash was given most of his Kanto badges for battles he didn't win. This happened in other regions from time to time, but it mostly happened in Kanto. The badges he only earned were the Thunder, Soul, and Volcano badge in my opinion. The rest of the badges were kind of pity badges. For example, when Ash battled Brock, Brock stopped the battle because he didn't want to hurt Pikachu. The sprinkler system turns on, you know how Onyx is a rock type and rock types are weak to water? Well, Ash took the opportunity and electrocuted Onyx. Now, what I never understood is how to fuck is Onyx or ground type and he got hit by an electric type attack. The world may never know, but I always looked at that as cheating. I really don't understand why Ash accepted the badge when he could have asked for a clean rematch, but like I said, the world may never know. During Ash vs Misty, Team Rocket interrupted the whole entire match they were having and Ash was given a badge for just saving Misty and her sisters not winning the battle. And Ash was giving a badge for a Haunter making Sabrina laugh. Now let me tell you why that's bullshit. If I was Sabrina, I would have been like, Hahaha, ha, ha, nigga, that was so funny, that was a good laugh, now we're gonna continue this battle. But no, she rewards him a gym badge for laughing. Complete bullshit. Then Ash saved Erica's gloom in a fire, then earned a badge. Sh yeah, sure, it was a good deed, but he never officially beat Erica. And let's talk about the eighth gym leader. Ash battled Jesse in substitution for Giovanni from Team Rocket out of all people, the same team he has beaten from time to time again. This isn't even a challenge for Ash. So it just made the battle just way too easy and boring to watch. This is why Ash just being given most of his Kanto badges is number 6. Number 5 Ash never fully evolves most of his Pokemon. I'm not going to mention Pokemon he caught in Kalos because the season is still going at the moment, but let's look at the list. Pikachu, Oshawa, Pig Knight, Snivy, Scraggy, Palpatine, Boulder, Weasel, Gibble, Colava, Corefish, Bulbasaur, Bayleaf, and Totodile. The list will probably go on in the future, but currently that is 14 Pokemon unevolved by Ash. Now let's look at some of the powerhouses Ash could have had if he actually spent the time to evolve most of these Pokemon. He could have had an Embor, Superior, Scrafty, Typhlosion, Crawdont, Venusaur, Feraligator, and he could have had a Garchomp. I repeat, a Garchomp. You know, the Pokemon in the OU tier, and Pokemon showing that Rex lives? Yes, that Pokemon. And Pikachu was one of the Pokemon that refused to evolve for Ash. If I was Ash, and my Pikachu refused to evolve, I would have started shoving Thunderstones right down his throat. How dare you defy your Pokemon trainer. Anyways, but yeah, honestly, if Ash just sat there and evolved most of his Pokemon, maybe he'll be a Pokemon champion right now. Literally, Garchomp will carry his whole entire team to victory. That is why Ash not fully evolving his Pokemon is number 5. Number 4. You know how one of the main phrases in the Pokemon anime used to be, Gotta catch em all, Pokemon! Well, Ash never did. I mean, come on Ash, it's literally in the theme song! Ash has currently over 78 Pokemon he has owned in the Pokedex when there is over 700 Pokemon that exist. It's been 6 generations and Ash seriously only has 79? Ash really needs to pick up the pace and get started on his Pokemon catching spree because according to the Pokemon Master Rulebook, it says right here that one of the main tasks is to catch all of the Pokemon and complete the Pokedex. I understand it would be a hard task for a 10 year old to do, but still, he's been doing this for 18 years. He could at least have over 200 Pokemon owned and recorded into his Pokedex. Until this kid grows some balls and start catching Pokemon, this is why Ash not catching them all is number 4. Number 3 Ash has seen and encountered every single legendary Pokemon there is, and he seriously haven't attempted to catch one? Are you kidding me? He has fucking met God himself and he didn't even try to shove him into a Pokeball? He even befriended most of these legendary Pokemon and he doesn't say, Hey, since we're friends now, you should follow me on my journey, like he does with most of the Pokemon he has caught. 
Yet, you see people like Tobias in the anime with a Darkrai and a lot of eyes. Like seriously, how the fuck do you manage to catch a Darkrai, yet Ash has met God himself and he is not allowed to catch him? Even Brandon has all of the Reggies under his control and Ash doesn't want to catch a single one? Now, this goes back to my Ash doesn't want to catch them all issue. Stop being a bitch and start catching every Pokemon you see. Until he does, this is why Ash not catching legendary Pokemon is number 3. Number 2 Ash has bonded closely with many of his Pokemon, they are basically like family to him. They always have Ash's back, but what does Ash do to repay the favor? Release them. Ash has released currently 4 of those Pokemon he bonded closely with, that's Butterfree, Pidgeot, Lapras, and Gudra. He even nearly released his damn Pikachu. Pikachu had to run back to his ass so he wouldn't be abandoned by his so called best friend. If I was Ash and I saw a bunch of Pikachus stealing my best friend away, I will say hey. That's my best friend, but no, instead he acts like a bitch and runs away. Then when he releases Pidgeot to take care of a bunch of Pidgeotos, he tells Pidgeot, We'll be back as soon as we get Professor Oak's Pokeball. Ash got the Pokeball, did he go back for Pidgeot? No. I honestly just hate that Ash releases these Pokemon that he bonded so closely with and he never sees them again. He could at least go back to these old regions to see his old pals again. Now this is why Ash releasing his Pokemon is number 2. Number 1 Now for what you all have been waiting for, the final reason why Ash sucks. Ash has never, ever beaten a Pokemon League. After 18 years of experience of being a Pokemon trainer, 18 years of exploring 6 regions, 18 years of beating all of the gym leaders in each region, 18 fucking years of catching many Pokemon, but he hasn't beaten one Pokemon League. Not one. It's just shameful that Ash can beat a single league, but yet any 7 year old could pick up a game and beat the league like it's nothing. It makes no fucking sense. This is why Ash not beating any league is number one. We have finally reached the end of the top 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, it was very fun to make and I plan to do more top 10s in the future. Leave a like and comment because your support is greatly appreciated and it really helps me out. Welp, it looks like I'm done here so I'll see you guys on my next top 10 video.